Hello and welcome to yet another exciting session on learning to use the dplyr package in R. So today we are going to learn one very simple, very simple application that is how to sort your columns in your data set. There is a beautiful function in dplyr which is arrange which helps you to sort multiple columns at a time. Okay. So that's what we are going to learn and that's the agenda. Going ahead, all those who haven't installed the package dplyr yet can install their package by following the line number one. Install dot packages in parentheses dplyr in double quotes comma dependencies equals true. I have this package and all those who have already installed this package go to line number two directly. That is library dplyr. That's what I'm going to do now. Go ahead. This is the same data we have been using in the past few lectures. I'll paste this link. You can use this link and practice along with me. OK, now just to have a glimpse of my data, I go with head. It gives me the top six rows. That is top six observations from my data. OK, and to get a bit of more idea about my data set, I go with dim. Dim gives me the dimensions. That is the number of rows and the number of columns. This is dim. I have 51 rows and 16 columns. OK, now I want to sort data by multiple variables. Let us try to understand and see how things work. OK. Now, for instance, let us say before I go ahead, let me show you certain qualities or characteristics about my data. If you want to know the basic characteristics of your data, like you go with str okay and put your data my data this is my data right in line number three that's what i have done so my data so when i go with the structure of my data just see how i get the structure of my data okay just see first i get to know it's a data frame with 51 observations 16 variables that's fine now just see the first column that's index it says it's a factor okay it's a factor with 19 levels okay so when i say a factor that is to say it has those many categorical variables like those many types like there are 19 types of variables in that that is to say for instance if the variable index has got a's b's c d and all as it's shown over here a c d f and all so there would be repetitions of A's and C's and so if I count all these A, C, D, F and all there would be 19 such alphabets with multiple uh, multiple repetitions summing up to 51. OK, that is what is a factor. OK, and rest. OK, you have another column that is state. OK, if you see the data, yeah, you have this index, you have the state. State is another categorical variable, which is again demonstrated as factor. OK, and it has got 51 levels. That means all 51 names are unique. There is no repetition in any name because my data frame has 51 observations. Getting this point and remaining all the variables are integers. OK, you can see all of them are integers. That's perfectly fine. Now I just clean my console so that you have better visibility. Now, for instance, I want to arrange two columns of different types or different class. OK, one, let us say I'll take one factor and I'll take the other one as a numeric or integer. OK, so let's do it. I call my data my data one okay let's say i'm creating a new object is equal to a range this is the function we are going to learn okay a range start with your parent data that is my data comma okay now i want to sort my data based on multiple variables let us take one variable to be uh let us see the names of my data okay let us Take index. Index is a factor. Okay. So index, fine, comma. Okay. I'll take another numeric. Let us say y 2015. Okay. Y 2015. 
Okay, so I've taken two variables. Now I'll sort the data in an when you don't put anything before the columns that is in an ascending order. Okay, so now you would see when I created this or when I sorted this, my entire data appears in an ascending order for these two columns. Okay, so the first column that I've taken or the first variable that I've taken was index okay so obviously all a's then c's then d f g h okay then going to year 2015 that was the last one okay now you could see this is again in an ascending order right starts with 13 16 19 okay so this way it keeps on going so this goes in an ascending order okay now let's say i need to go for a descending order okay now just see the beauty lies here okay now for instance i want a descending order okay for this column so just put minus okay just put minus now earlier it was in ascending order now it goes into descending order okay just let's do it when i do it i select my data and i run this okay now just see what could happen year 2015 probably should go in a descending order okay uh, see this way it's going in a descending order okay now the same logic if i apply for index okay let's put a minus get it you get an error okay that is to say this was a factor so if you want a descending order for a factor it doesn't work this way so you have to write desc put parenthesis close it okay now run it okay now when you run this part highlight this and run it now see the beauty of this okay just see all is at the bottom you get it starts with w fine this is how so when it's a factor you can't apply a minus to it but you have to write the descending desc okay but when it's a uh, numeric or integer it's fine with minus or it's even fine with desc getting the point so even if you write desc with this it's perfectly fine okay so you run this So you get your output great so i hope you learned how to use the function of arrange in your deep lab package stay tuned for more informative and interesting sessions on data manipulations and data management do keep visiting and spread the good word by liking and sharing the videos thank you